Automation just got a whole lot easier with Okta workflows. Our identity-centric, no-code flow automation is changing the face of identity. And powering Okta workflows is its connectors. Welcome to our connector series where we take an in-depth look into our workflow connectors. Let's get started. The greatest challenge facing today's organizations are defending people's identities and securing their access to apps. Both Okta and Proofpoint recognize this, and that's why both solutions have come together to provide a holistic approach to solve this need. By combining the two solutions, Okta is able to take advantage of the VAP list created in Proofpoint and apply additional levels of security to these users, requiring additional factors, shorter session times, or more stringent passwords. And now we can take this a step further with the all new Proofpoint connector inside Okta Workflows. Okta Workflows gives you the ability to automate processes based on a number of various triggering events. These events can be Okta events, or in this case, Proofpoint events. And it works like this. We have Okta and we have Proofpoint. In between the two, we have a connector that lets us perform actions in Proofpoint and queries the TAP API every few minutes to check for a user who's clicked on a phishing link. So when a user clicks on a malicious link, Proofpoint collects that information. Okta then pulls this list reading the user information. Using that information, Okta can perform a number of tasks, such as deactivate an account, force a password reset, or suspend an account. Let's take a look at how you'd build a flow in Okta workflows to deactivate a user account. Here I'm in Okta Workflows. I'm gonna create a flow that'll be triggered by a poll of the new permitted malicious click list. Once the list is polled, we'll add a new app action for the Okta connector. This will allow us to execute actions within our Okta tenant. For this particular flow, I'll select the option to deactivate a user. We'll get their username from the ID field of the permitted malicious click list received from Proofpoint. And that's the entire flow. But our flow doesn't have to stop here. Okta provides you a wide range of connectors. Each allows us to perform a set of actions in their respective applications. Take for example, Slack. Once a user has been deactivated, we can notify the team of their deactivation. Or we could use the O365 mail connector to create an email and let their manager know. The possibilities are endless. What's great about Okta workflows is you have the ability to use developer logic without having to write the code. So if you wanted to add more functions to this flow, we can use if else statements, create lists, add tables, or schedule the flow as needed. If you'd like to learn more about our Proofpoint connector, be sure to check out the application reference guide at learn.workflows.okta.com. Thanks for watching.